Okay. What I'd like you to do now is turn to the person on your right or left and discuss with them which of these do you think will compile that the computer will accept as a variable name and which ones will not compile because there's some issue. I'd like you to just take a couple of minutes and try and discuss that with your partner. All right, uh, let me go through the class here a little bit. Uh, Mr. Bello, sir, how do you feel about int x? Good or no good? That one is good. Nothing unusual there. Uh, next one is uh, Mr. Van Dusen, sir, how do you feel about x2? No, sir, that's okay. Uh, next person up is uh, Mr. Dominic, sir, how do you feel about 2x? No good. And Dominic, can you tell me how come X2 is good and 2X is no good? Okay. So there's a rule in Java that your variables cannot start with a number. It, it's just a rule to help the compiler keep from getting confused. You can use numbers in your variable name, but they can't be the first, first digit. That's just a rule that you have to know. Now, who is after Dominic? Let's see here. Miss Ishita, how do you feel about double ABC? And uh, Miss Mullen, how about string S? That's good. And Mr. Diego, how do you feel about string int? Okay, tell me why, what's wrong with the, what, what using this as a variable name, sir? Okay, so what does int mean in Java? Like here, what does it mean, sir? It means integer. So you can't use this word as a variable name because this is a reserved word in Java. No good, reserved word. So this is our example of certain words that have special meanings in Java and you can't use them as variable names. Okay, Kevin, how do you feel about this one? This one is also no good. Uh, why is that, Kevin? Okay, this is also a reserved word. You see where I'm going with this, right? So basically, there are certain words that you just can't use because they're reserved. Now you might be asking, what are all the reserved words? And here they are. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like there's 53 of them. Now you'll notice that there's nothing special about these words. Notice, by the way, there's no uppercase here. No uppercase here. And uh, that's just something to keep in mind. Now, how can you remember these words? Well, there's only one way. You have to memorize them. This will be the only time in my class I ask you to do a long memorization task. But the reason why you need to memorize these words is so that you know not to try to use them as variables. One other thing I forgot to mention here. We agreed that this is no good, right? What about this? Would that be OK or not? Who's next here? Miss Nuha. What do you think about that? Would the compiler allow that or not? It would. It, is it a good idea to create a variable name like this? No, but it would be allowed because you can see that this is all lowercase and you can see here that the reserved words, you can see the reserved words are all lowercase. So if you use some combination of upper or lowercase, then it does allow it. That's a completely different word. How about this one here? Let's just finish this idea. Let's see who's next here. Mr. Burnett, would it, would it allow this or not? It would allow it. How about this, sir? Would it allow that, Mr. Uh, Brian? Yeah. They would allow this also. You're getting the idea, right? These are bad ideas, but it would be allowed. So now what you have to do for me over the next two weeks is you have to memorize this list of words, and you also have to memorize a bunch of rules which I will point you to that tells you, for example, that, confusing myself, that this is no good, for example. You need to understand that you can't start a, a variable name with a number. Now, I didn't mention this earlier in the year, but a quiz counts as a single quiz grade, but a test counts as six quiz grades, okay? So quiz counts for one unit of grading, a test counts for six units of grading. I'm going to give you a quiz on these reserved words in about two weeks from now, and also on these rules for making variable names. That test or quiz is going to count for three quiz grades. 
So it's like a little bit bigger than a quiz and a little bit smaller than a test. I call it a quest. Okay, so it's like halfway between test and quiz. So on that test, the questions are all like, is the following allowed to be used as a variable name? And then the next question is exactly the same. Is the following allowed to be used as a variable name? You get the idea? This will be the only test you ever have in my class that requires zero thinking. Why? Because it's a memorization test. You just got to memorize these 53 words and some rules about what is an, what is not allowed in a variable name. So that's a little background task for you. And you can find these words pretty much anywhere. Uh, I'll try to put a link to them on Google Classroom. But if you just look on Google, the 53 reserve words or Java are going to be everywhere for you. Does anybody have any questions about that? 